while Saint Ignatius of Loyola became the patron saint of soldiers. Besides being the founder of one of the largest religious orders in the world and the author of the spiritual exercises, Saint Ignatius of Loyola is also the patron saint of soldiers. Here's how the Siberian soldier turned priest and missionary was canonized a saint and came to be the protector and patron of soldiers across the world. The soldier, Ignatius was the youngest of 13 children, born in a castle in 1491. Though we know him as Ignatius, his true Basque name was Inigo Lopez de Onas y Loyola. To be born into a noble Basque family in what is today northeastern Spain meant the life of a warrior. By all accounts, Ignatius embraced this life heartily and seemed to have enjoyed it. He was knighted in 1517 and known as a rugged fighter and somewhat vain noble. While the major Spanish kingdoms of Aragon and Castile were just uniting and beginning to turn their gaze to new far off lands being discovered by Columbus, the far northern kingdoms of the fiercely independent Basque and Navarres were in a struggle to remain independent. From the south, the Catholic kings, Isabella of Castile and Ferdinand of Aragon, threatened, while to the north French forces were constantly attempting to move in. At 30 years old, Ignatius was stationed at the citadel of Pamplona. He was tasked with repelling an invading French force that had dramatically superior numbers. Ignatius and his companions valiantly held the fortress until he was struck by a cannonball that shattered his leg. With their leader down, the defense crumbled, and the citadel fell. Ignatius was carried home to Loyola where he underwent a painful operation in an attempt to reset and heal his leg. Though he chose to undergo a second procedure to try to restore his leg, he was never fully healed, and he is said to have walked with a limp for the rest of his life. It was during this terrible low point in his life that Ignatius, bedridden and desperately bored, began reading the only books available to him, a book on the life of Christ and another on the lives of the saints. In reading these works, Ignatius came to reflect on his own life and worldly ambitions. He came to realize that all of his exploits seeking earthly glory were vain attempts to fill a void that could only truly be filled by God. Ignatius likely felt convicted by the same question he later posed to St. Francis Xavier, what will it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? By the time he was healed enough to leave his bed, the trajectory of Ignatius' entire life was changed. Rather than attempting to continue chasing after his own glory, Ignatius resolved to become a champion for Christ for the glory of God. Alongside Francis Xavier, Ignatius was ordained a priest in 1537.